welcome to Symphony Storytime, where we share two of our favorite things, books and music. I'm Amy, and I'll be reading the story to you today, and I have a friend with me from the Oregon Symphony. I'm Karen, and I'll be playing the oboe today, and it sounds something like this. That's gonna sound perfect with the story we have today. Top Cat is the story of an old grumpy cat who makes friends with a younger cat. Top Cat by Lois Elert, published by Voyager Books, Harcourt Incorporated. I'm Top Cat, pet me, I'll purr. I guard this place in my coat of fur. Boring job, never see a mouse. Nothing much happens in this dull house. Who let you in? One cat's enough. I don't want to share my stuff. Go away, cat. You've invaded my space, and I don't like your cute little face. I'll fight you and bite you behind the ear. Get the message? I'm boss around here. Well, you're here to stay, I can see that. Guess I'm stuck with you, striped cat. But there's more to do than eat and sleep. Keep your green eyes open. Watch me leap. Bounce on the couch. Leave lots of hair. Eat leaves till the plants are bare. Drink from the sink when company's there. Dance on the table with the silverware. Doors left open. Go get some fresh air. Test your claws. Give the birds a good scare. Time to eat. You'd better decide. Will you come in or stay outside? Welcome back. Let's drink milk in our furs. No hisses, no scratches, no bites, just purrs. Don't you love how the oboe really sounds like cats? So Karen, can you show us what you did that made those sounds? The oboe is a member of the woodwind family. The woodwind family sits right in the middle of the orchestra. It's sort of the heart of the whole band. It is the second highest member of the wind section, which means we can play pretty high and we can play pretty low too. And the most important thing you need to know about the oboe is that it uses this little thing to make sound. This is called a reed. The reed plays independently of the oboe, and it sounds just like this. We like that. We do. So why don't you just play that? I don't think if I played this, I'd um, make a very pretty sound in the middle of the orchestra. But I'll play the oboe without it, and I'll show you how it sounds. Do you hear anything? No. I don't hear anything. You don't hear anything because this doesn't work without the reed. So I need to put the two things together to make the sound that the oboe makes, which I personally think is quite lovely. That is lovely. We have some questions from some of you. Are you ready? I'm Karen? ready. Okay. First question. 
Kendall is six and she wants to know, do you always play by yourself or do you sometimes play with other musicians? That's a great question, Kendall. I do often play by myself when I'm home. I have to practice so I can keep up my skills so I can go to work and play in the Oregon Symphony with 75 other people. And I don't mind playing by myself, but I much prefer playing with all of my colleagues in the Oregon Symphony. Yeah, it must be very fun. It is so much fun. All right, second question. Callie is five, and she wants to know if they come in purple. Also, it's her birthday next week. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> Callie. I would love to answer this question for you on your birthday. Oboes most often are black. They come from a tree in Africa called a grenadilla tree. It's a very hard wood and it makes an excellent instrument. You will see other oboes in lighter colors. They are made of often rosewood, which is a more like maple syrup colored wood. And sometimes you'll even see oboes that are purple or green or white. And those are made of plastic and they do exist. And those would be great for like an outdoor concert in the rain or something like that. So her birthday wish might come true? It could come true. I really hope that it comes true for you. Okay. Last question is from Eli. He's seven and three quarters, and he wants to know if you have a favorite composer. That's a big word for a seven and a half year old. It's a very big word. You know, Eli, it's always hard to come up with a favorite composer because there are just so many that are so amazing and that I love. But today I'll land on one for you. How's that? I really love Benjamin Britten. Have you ever heard of Benjamin Britten, Amy? I've heard of Benjamin Britten, but you might want to tell our friends what a composer does. Oh, what does a composer do? A composer writes music. It's pretty important that they do that because otherwise, what would we listen to ever? Today, I'm going to play a little piece for you by Benjamin Britten. He was a composer who lived in the 20th century, and this piece was written in 1952, which, believe it or not, is not that long ago. I can't wait to hear this but it's time for me to say goodbye. Thank you so much for sharing this time with us. And now we're gonna listen to Karen play her favorite piece of music. 